Hey, hey, people. Hi, it's Sam here, Gladiator of Love, helping you fall in love with yourself on a deeper level. This is my lovely friend, Kelly Walsh. Hi, everybody. <laughs> so, uh, just popping on because Kelly's down in London um, from Manchester, and she has got such an amazing story of love because you know I'm all about love. Um, <laughs> the love queen. Yeah, Kelly is also all about the love. I'm going to show you her amazing book here, The Transformative Power of Near-Death Experiences, um, because Kelly had an a, a amazing experience a few years ago, and in this book uh, she talks about having her near-death experience and and um, the wacky and wonderful journey. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. And, and like the experience that she had from having this experience and like how we all come back to love. So can you tell us, like, briefly, in, in a, do, do a synopsis. <laughs> a synopsis. <laughs> do, a synop do a synopsis of your experience of, like, that birth into love that you had, like, that experience of what you had with your... A real... Well, yeah. like, I, I reckon synopsis it in a really short, short version. Yeah. Well, at the time, I was at rock bottom, so I'd, I'd actually tried to end my physical life. Um, took a huge overdose. I shouldn't be here. Um but had a profound experience. And I would say since the experience, I've been on that healing journey back to love that experience in spirit. Still have my wobbles like we all do. Um, but what I do know is that at a soul level, we're all loved and we're loved equally and unconditionally. Um, so in a brief synopsis, I travelled through um, seven bumps at the time. I had seven dimensions, experienced the oneness and the, the and divine love. And, and that was the message I was given, is that love will heal and transform the world and self-love being the most important and... And it's so, mm -hmm. so true. And I was saying that at a soul level, we're all love. And I believe that the day we see each other at a soul reflection is the day we'll re release our man-made fear, rejoicing in the reality that heaven is already here. And with that level of consciousness, we'll create peace on earth. But, mm. um, but yeah, I uh, even though I know what I know, as we all do, yeah, and what we all are. Doesn't yep. mean to say I've got it all worked out, because I certainly haven't. And uh, in fact, we've just been chatting about that tonight, haven't we, about remembering yeah like every every sort of bump that you have yeah it's always bringing you back to love yeah isn't it yeah so like everyone yeah. we can all have challenges and stuff yeah um but it's just remembering remembering the love and yeah. that you know that self-love and falling back in love with yourself yeah completely and remembering yeah. and even and i think the biggest thing for me has been that even when i have my challenges on my darker times one thing i do know even if I'm not feeling it myself, it's how much I yeah. am loved, as we all are, by whether you call it God, social universe, it doesn't really matter what you call it, but the love that is for us all is beyond, well, it's beyond earthly words. Yeah, so. yes. So tell us a little bit about your book. So I've I've read this, um, the, the beautiful story. So the transformative power of near-death experiences, and it's about how the messages of NDEs positively impact the world and it's a beautiful collection of stories of all different people that Kelly's met on her journey when she first had her experience yeah when I when I yeah. came around from my experience my hands were across my chest and I opened them in slow motion and shouted out all oh, I got this vision of the world change and shouted out like-minded souls would collaborate to change the world and as we know that's happening all over the world but um I always felt like it wasn't about my story in isolation so what it was about sharing lots of people's stories so all this is predominantly on near-death experiences it has got a number of spiritual transformative because really that was more what what I had and there's a couple Neil Donald Walsh featured in the book he shares his out-of-body experience I had prior to the conversations we got book series um yeah and it's just all these people sharing their own experiences and whether it's been through suicide whether it's been in pregnancy whether it's been drug induced whether it's been out-of-body experience and regardless mm. of where they're from in the world what the creed is the culture they're all essentially having their own intimate experience and it's all centered in love the same yeah. message over and over yeah. and over again because that's what i loved about the book it yeah. was sort of like everything just takes you back to love yeah everything yeah and, uh, and there's uh, a lot yeah. of like you know there's one per particular person who featured in the book jessica in america who um transgender no female but was male and served in the iraq war and witnessed 
you know, horrendous things, but then, um, but also knew that he was trapped or she was trapped in the wrong body. And because of her need, uh, her actual experience wasn't while she was in the war, it was when she came out of the war, uh, it was in a dental chair. And mm. when she went back home or back to source, um, yeah, she was shown that, which I passionately believe in, that our body's just a vehicle to our soul. And, you know, she wants her her feeling was she should she wanted to be in a female body and she knew that she was loved regardless and that gave her the strength to transition yeah it's beautiful yeah it so, really is i mean i can 100 percent recommend this book in uh it's published by watkins you can get it in bookshop you can get it on amazon and yeah help um, us sell it because all the royalties yeah. we're not we're not making any personal money on it all the royalties from the book are uh, going to Love Care Share Foundation and they're going to be distributed to projects. She says distributed because as many of you probably in this group who've ever wrote a book, <laughs> what I'm realising, unless you sell a lot of copies, you don't get a lot. But, you know, it's out in the world and we've got to keep trusting mm. that it'll get further and further out yeah. there. And if you look at Amazon, it's got all five-star reviews. So, uh, yeah, help us to... If you're interested in near death or spiritual transformative or just about love, yeah, and you uh, want to help us get it out, yeah, because it. all the royalties are going to be going to your foundation. That's going to help. It's the Georgias. What, what is yeah, it? the Georgia's first, the, yeah, the first foundation. project with the line with the Georgias Children of the World. So, yeah. um, he's a good friend of mine, Steve, and he set up Georgias Children in, in his late daughter's memory, and he's doing amazing work in Cambodia and the UK and all in different. Mm hobby to project so yeah the dream was that we'd be in a position for the book to he's looking to build this extra school um which is about eight thousand dollars so gotta sell a lot of books but we can do it yeah. <laughs> so go buy that book yeah, thank you. yeah so um that's what love is so we always have to remember that love is in here like everything bringing us back to love so it doesn't matter like what shitty day you've had like always ask yourself like you know how can i come back to love in this moment um that's what it's all about so uh thank you for listening and if you've got any questions or comments and you're watching the replay stick them in the box below and um check out the book thank you bye, <laughs> bye. <laughs>